You may remember this table that I drew up recently comparing the pressure put on the ground by various things. Me walking about, a wagon on tracks weighing the same, a horse, a donkey, a tractor and a quad bike. And I see that it inadvertently leaves the impression that horses have the most impact on the ground. Now, my wife, Sandra, who is a big fan of horses, I mean, we're all fans of horses, aren't we? But she is the biggest fan of all. Well, she wasn't best pleased. So, to relieve the air pressure in the kitchen, I wish to make the following clarifications. It's not that my figures were particularly wrong. It's just that they were incomplete. For instance, the tractor and quad figures are more or less correct for balloon tyres or big tyres because that's what I was talking about. But for a tractor with standard tyres, the pressure could be 40 psi or even more. You need very dry fields, good tracks and concrete yards for those. And see, that puts horses in a more objective light. And while we're at it, let's look at a couple more things. A two-wheeled tractor could be up to 30 psi. A tracked vehicle would be much less, maybe 5 psi. A mountain bicycle could get to 60. A racing bicycle with small hard tyres could get to 90 psi. A person in high heels could get to 50 psi, no problem. And someone on a pogo stick <laughs> could easily exceed 150 psi. Now, if you remember, I was comparing these various things to my railway wagon, which came out as exerting the lowest ground pressure of all, but I should also have added more information on that too. See, I was measuring the track layout as it is now, but if more sleepers were added, maybe just in the wet bits or whatever, but if they were added between the existing ones, then the weight could be spread out even further, bringing the PSI down even more, which would make them even more amazing. So, in summary, when it comes to wet ground, horses, good. <laughs> Pogo sticks, bad. And railways, best. All right, got that? Good. Yeah,